Langush is a must try Hungarian street food and if you're wondering where to eat the best langush in Budapest, join me on my food tour to visit 10 plus 1 langush places in Budapest. First, let's talk about langush. It's basic dough, it's made of water, yeast, flour and salt and the langush is fried in oil and served with toppings. The Hungarian's favorite toppings is cheese and sour cream. Wait till the end because I will share my favorite and less favorite language places. The next language place we will try out is located very close to the basilica as you can see and it's called Langos. Let's go and try it out. My boyfriend chose the Budapest language and I went for the cheese and sour cream combination. Ooh. It's very nice, it's very fluffy, you can see the edges. It's very light, you, can, you cannot feel it's oily or something. This is Arany Janusz petrol station and the Langos kiosk of uh, Retro Langos used to be here, though the city is uh, renovating the metro stations, so the Langos kiosk had to close, but there are some good news because they opened the place just opposite the metro station, so we will check it out. Now you can order in a stylish interior and choose from many tables outside and inside. The menu also contains the staff language, moreover lactose and gluten-free languages. I can say for sure that retro language doesn't spare on toppings. This language is topped with sour cream, eef cheese, ham and spring onion. And this other one is a four cheese language. It wasn't as good as a four cheese pizza, but it was still tasty. You guys tried out my language. It's very crispy from inside and fluffy inside. So I'm satisfied with my first. We are at Andrási Avenue and we will try out a place here called Langos Papa. If the Beauty Avenue would disturb you, you can also have a seat inside, though the interior was a bit disappointing with the bad ventilation and the less authentic Hungarian decoration. It's super weird because Langos is a street food, but we, we get some cutleries, so I guess we will eat with cutleries. Let's see! I ordered the language filled with Wiener sausage and cheese and this other one is served with cheese, bacon and crispy onion. Both of them were crispy outside and soft inside. These were one of the best languages we've tried, though also the priciest ones. If you're wandering around City Park and Seychenny Bath, look for the pavilions and the language kiosk in the brick building. Their potato language menu contains the basic options and some premium ones as well. Order at the right window and wait for your language at the left one. This is the local's favorite with cheese and sour cream. And there's the Hungarian one, also served with some sausage. Mm. The language is very crispy. It's very delicious. The edge was fluffy and crispy, and the middle part is thinner, so this is the perfect combination. It's time to try out a new language place. We are at here at Language Home at Fashion Street, and it's time for language. The interior has an authentic Hungarian vibe, but it's a bit narrow, especially if someone is eating at the bar, but you can also have a seat outside. I chose again the one with the cheese and sour cream and someone chose the Budapest language which is uh, topped with... Everything! <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, topped with everything! And how do you like it? Very good! Very good! It's very tasty, there are a lot of cheese on top It's very crispy, maybe a bit too crispy but it's nice because the dough is not that thick and it looks a bit oily, but I will keep trying. For me, the taste of the langos was a 
We are here in Kozinci Street, Simple Kert was just there and we will check its neighbor. Street food caravan! The yard is full of street food trucks and it has a very friendly atmosphere. Unfortunately now it's a bit empty because of Covid and the travel restrictions. We will go for the Langer Burger place. They have basic ones, but we will order some burgers. Once we've tried their beef langos burger and it was super delicious. Ooh, our burgers are ready. This one is with pork and this is the chicken burger. Let's take a look. It's very good. The, the langos layer is a bit thick to hold the stuffs inside. Mm, this chicken isn't that intense, but this one, the pork is super tasty with all the fillings inside. We are here in Dostica, close to the egg transfer, so this is a very twisty area. And we will try out the drum cafe. They also have many types of mango sheets, but they also have all types of uh, traditional Hungarian dishes. So let's see. The menu has many langos and langos burger options. I went for the cheese and sorghum combination and my boyfriend ordered the extra langos. The dough was thick and heavy and it wasn't tasty. The extra langos was a bit better because the langos taste wasn't the dominant thanks to the many fillings. The other dishes might be better but still I wouldn't recommend this restaurant, especially if you want to eat langos. I will go to the central market to try out the lunch. Due to Covid and travel restrictions, the central market was almost empty. The language place is located on the first floor and before 2020 this place was always full of people. The kiosk offers many toppings, in my opinion too many toppings, and I went for the traditional cheese and sour cream version. This one is very good because it's crispy from outside, fluffy inside, and it's not very oily, so highly recommend it. Be careful because the sellers see the difference between locals and tourists and they might offer you a more expensive option, so make sure to check the prices before ordering. We are close to our beverage and now we will go to English language, means potato language, and I heard that they have the best language in Budapest, so I'm trying to lower my expectations and the located underground so the area is not that appealing but you will notice the place very easily because there's always a queue. All of their languages are made with potato, that's why their name is uh, potato language. It's very tasty, light and maybe just a bit thicker than usual but the taste is very good. I prefer my boyfriend's language because the taste of the cheese, sour cream, bacon and onion really matched, so totally exceeded our expectations. There aren't any seating options, though you can visit the nearby park if you want to sit down. Our next target is Langosland, here at Fény utcai piac, Fény street market, and the Langos place is located on the first floor. The places are still closed in Hungary, so we get the Langos for takeaway and we will eat it here, in this pot. This one is with smoked cheese and this is with normal cheese and they look a bit weird because of the takeaway but they are tasty, just I think the dough is a bit thick so this wasn't our favorite langos. And if you're ready for a day trip to Santander, there's a super cool langos place here so just come to the Föter, the main square and from here you can go up on a small alley. Just follow the yellow language sign and if you see a queue it means you found Alon language. We will get into a small yard and while waiting you can adore the cute decorations. If you cannot find a table you can follow your way up to the alley and you can have a language with a view. The basic toppings and a few extra toppings are available and you can also order stuffed langos and pancake for dessert. We already started to eat because we are super hungry.
This one is very good. The dough is thin and crispy, and it has the perfect proportion of uh, sour cream and cheese, so highly recommend it. I have to highlight that there are hundreds of language places in Budapest. I visited this 10 plus 1 because of their fame and location. And to summarize the video, we ate the best languages at Retro Language Budapest, Langos Papa, Krumplish Langos and Liget Langos. And I guess you figured out that I wouldn't recommend Drum Cafe Budapest. If you found other places, with tasty language, please share them in the comment below so I can also visit them. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and thanks a lot for watching!